What's up, everybody? Tyler Harris at Tyler Harris Page, and I am waking up with Michael and Joy in the morning. And you're waking up with Michael and Joy in the morning. No, that's your line. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Press with your vibe. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. For the longest time, I was trying to figure out what my calling was, like what I was put on this earth to do. And I feel I feel like you know we're four episodes in, but I feel like I figured it out. There's just there's literally no telling what this thing could turn into, um, because when you don't have to monetize, when you don't have to monetize it, you don't you don't get boxed in, like you don't get cornered into these situations where you have to say. Hey, this is Hank's, you know, lamp. It's the best lamp ever. Make sure you go down to Hank's and get a freaking lamp. You can just be completely free to talk about and do whatever in the world you want. And that's the key with this is that, like, I don't need anyone's money for any, like, if I never monetize this ever, like, if I, you know, I talk about this five-year thing and I got four more years in this five-year kind of window that I threw out there. But if I never monetized it, ever, like, that's fine. I make my money doing what I do. Like, I, I make an incredible living, live an incredible lifestyle, all of that. Separately from this, this is just on top of it. And see, some people, I think, and this is an interesting thought, it's just kind of hitting me. The majority of people aren't willing to do the extra on top of the career that's funding it. They're only willing to like replace parts of the career by funding it with the extra. Does that make any sense? It's most people would only do something like this because they can create some income that will replace what they're doing over here that will justify the time spent here. What I'm telling you is I'm going all in over here to fund this so that I don't have to ever, ever, ever worry about asking someone for something for wanting something in return, for having some funnel to put you into. And selfishly, like, I don't even want to worry about it. So sales is my trade. Providing value is my calling. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. That epiphany, like that clarity, it's liberating. Um, and quite frankly, I'm exhausted. <laughs> like, really? Like, if you're really? In my posture right now, like, it's terrible. <laughs> like, I'm literally like, I'm like I'm speaking, but I'm hardly alive at the moment. But it's having the clarity of knowing that there's like a, there's there's a higher calling in what we're doing. Like there's a reason, there's a purpose, there's a uh, there's an end game that's bigger than a commission check. There's an end game that's bigger than a royalty. There's an end game that's bigger than a you know check in the mail. Um, the end game is legacy. What's up, guys? My name is Tyler Harris, and you are waking up with Michael and Joe in the morning. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Joe Bear is in the building, too. We got like Tyler as well. Also, Janice is still hanging out with us. And we got this list of 25 biggest mistakes that you make. You gotta inspect what you expect. There you go. And so keeping this measurable, like you said, and it's it's not always like monetary. Like you said, it's activity based. Like I wanna do this many things a day, because at the end of the day you can't control what the person on the other side of the table does, mm -hmm. but all you control is your actions. There you so go. that's that's big for me. You can read my list, bro. <laughs> I don't want stuff over here. <laughs> now who are you, Tyler? My name is Tyler Harris. I'm from uh, Greenville, South Carolina. I am a uh, entrepreneur, influencer, self-proclaimed sales wolf. Got the Sales Wolves podcast, uh, the Daily Bread vlog, which is why this guy is following me around with a camera now. It's just super uncomfortable for me. Uh, but we've got uh, incredibly uncomfortable. But we just started a daily vlog three days ago, so we're three episodes in, condensing my crazy life, which is just nonstop. I spent 238 nights in a hotel last year. Um, 
Life insurance, I sold 2,200 life insurance policies last year by myself, one-on-one, -on -one, face to face, where the average life insurance agent sells 120. Um, and that's just purely just by work. Um, and so now he's following me to capture like, what does it look like to do that? And we're doing a 24 hour turnaround, condensing 18 hour days into 15 minute segments. It's been an incredible experience so far, but I have not gotten used to this, what's happening here right now. So we hand you the trap phone, right there, Joy's handing you the trap phone there. You know the trap phone? <laughs> So the question is, who are you calling to drive you home? Is it Jessica Simpson, Jessica Alba, or Jessica Beal? Who are you going to call to drive you home? I would probably have to call my wife and ask her who she wants to meet when I get home. Okay, so who would you think she would say? You just told I think me she to was, check that. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I would say Jessica Alba. Ah, Jessica Alba. All right, so break the tie for the beginning of the year. Right. Thank you very much. One more time. What's that site? Just at, <laughs> at Tyler exactly. Harris page or search on YouTube for the Daily Bread vlog. All right, so we just got out of the uh, Michael and Joy in the morning show. It was hotter than Hades in that studio. I, I don't know, I, I, literally we just did a radio show in Asana. Race to my next meeting, uh, which is to do what I do, sell life insurance. Gotta go to a gas station, change, put my normal insurance salesman attire on, and uh, get right back at it. Sold 17 life insurance policies yesterday, helping to sell 20 today, and uh, see if we can't make that happen. We'll come back at you here in a little bit and let you know. It's so funny, last night, like, as I wrapped up with everything we were doing around 12.30 in the morning, I started thinking that, like, I was using that excuse, like, I didn't get to work out yesterday. And the only time I could have was, like, a small window of time in the morning before we got started. But then I caught myself, I'm like, I'm using something, that's the excuse. And so the reality is you have the time. We all have the time. It's just the average person wastes 70% of it on stuff that doesn't matter. So you gotta start auditing your life and realize like, what am I doing right in this second? Does this matter towards where I'm going? Does this matter towards my goal? Does this matter towards where I ultimately want to end up? And you will find that the vast majority of stuff just doesn't matter. It's just fluff, it's just busy work, it's just stuff. Eliminate that and you'll have the time to do the important stuff. A new follower, E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher. So I was just telling TJ, like, the schedule's been like crazy today, like a lot of different weird things going on, shifting around. Um, it's just like the last thing I wanna do is, is go to this next meeting, but um, a common theme that you guys will find throughout these videos is this do it anyway mentality. It's something that I first heard from Andy Frisella and I've tried to just embody over the last 12 months, <laughs> this do it anyway. Like when you have a meeting and you don't feel like going like right now, like you do it anyway. When, when you're tired, do it anyway. Like going to the gym later. Like at the end of the day, nobody cares how you feel. So just do it anyway. Like you know what you're supposed to do. Like this isn't, we're not children. We're, we're, we're adults here. Like, we just, just do what you're supposed to do. And, those, and that's just this mentality that you just have to carry with you at all times because um, if you don't, that's when excuses come in. And excuses, I learned this from um, a 23-year Navy SEAL, incredible human being. His name is Tom Shea. Uh, he said, excuses are subtle, seductive, and believable. Subtle, meaning they kind of just creep in. Like, all of a sudden you think like, oh, you mean it, you know, it wouldn't be that big, big a deal if I didn't go to the gym today. It's just, it's just one workout. And then the seductive part about it is like when you start really believing it, you know, when you start really kind of thinking like, yeah, like, oh, I mean, I'll work out hard tomorrow. I worked out hard. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm sore from doing shoulders the other day. Like, oh, and it starts becoming seductive. The second it becomes believable, it's over. You're not going to do it. Um, so subtle, seductive, and believable. That's what excuses are. But if you carry that do it anyway mentality, it'll eliminate those opportunities for those excuses to subtly slip in. Um, and it'll ultimately help you win the day. All right, so uh, just got out of my last insurance meeting for the day, headed back to the hotel. And uh, so here's the thing. 
normally the way my schedule is it's crazy it's like super early morning super late nights and I pretty much almost every day will schedule a 20 to 45 minute nap and it's a game changer and uh, some people may think that nah, it's funny like this guy takes naps but uh, Gary Vaynerchuk always talks about the fact that that's what he said that it's not about how much sleep you're getting it's about what you do when you're awake uh, but I in no way shape or form try to wear a big you know H on my chest as you know for hustle in regards to not sleeping like you need sleep and here's the thing like I've got like 18 calls I would love to make right now. I've got like 50 messages I'd love to respond to right now. I've got 30 posts I'd love to schedule right now. But at the end of the day, this is what's important at this exact second for me to get a little bit of rest because I haven't slept in the past two nights but like three, four and a half hours, I think max. Get this rest in, get right back at it and be able to operate at, at an optimal level. So TJ just got done with um, basically the first version of the final draft but this is the final draft that we're gonna look at and then take notes on like hey in this part um, let's add this text uh, this part oh we forgot a Facebook live logo in the corner on this part let's can we add some words that come in and do this so let's jot out some notes and uh, kind of try to condense this thing now it's like what 17 minutes or so now so we try to get that down to you know maybe so we can get it in within 15 or you know for me like I don't care if it's 48 minutes but Apparently people tell you that the shorter the video, the better. All right, so um, it's 10 o'clock. Um, woke up at 4.45 and uh, just finished up with the work day, the content, got everything done, posted like 20 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. And uh, God, the last thing in the world I wanna do right now is work out. It's time to surprise Tyler with another workout. <laughs> All right, Tyler. So we got another hit exercise. Up and down with the ropes. Jumping? Yeah, so it jumps. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, he's feeling the burn, everybody. He's feeling the burn. <laughs> <laughs> you made it halfway through, people. <laughs> oh, man. 11 p.m. at 181. I told you this is insanity. And that's that for that. <laughs> uh, shoot me. <laughs> Anything about self-awareness it's about gaining feedback from other people that's unbiased that's honest that's truthful that's raw and that's hard to do um, because nobody wants to hurt your feelings right but with social media just the way it is you put this type of message that we're putting out there on this daily vlog and people are gonna tell you what they think <laughs> this guy just posted some Instagram stories and I got to just let you listen because it just it's so funny um, and it's so cool to hear, you know, someone that enjoys the content that we've been working so hard for these last few days to, to show. Let me tell you something right now. I just officially just decided to cancel my cable subscription and it's all because of this dude, Tyler Harris Page. I don't know who the hell he is. Somebody put me on. I don't know, man. Have I been like under a rock? Like how in the world did I not know about this dude? His content is straight fire. It's crazy because it kind of reminds me of my story. A lot of you guys know by now, but I'm up. <laughs> so it's just it's funny, and and if he's watching this, man, I appreciate you. It's awesome. This is a project, and I love that word project because this is a work in progress. I am a work in progress. 
this vlog is a work in progress. Everything that's happening around me uh, and everyone that's engaging, we're all just a gigantic work in progress. And that's what I want this to be. I want this to be a project where we can all collaborate, we can all um, level up together. So let me, let me see if I can try to go through uh, today. And bear with me because TJ just put me through some ridiculous high intensity workout at the end of our uh, time at the gym and I'm like literally deliriously tired. Also just a side note, I don't do, please do not bust out a black light because I do not want to know what has ever happened on this couch that I'm sitting on right now in this low rent hotel room. But anyways, um, sold 14 life insurance policies today, made a good amount of commission uh, today. I don't know what it was exactly and, and to be honest with you, it's not some kind of, that's not the type of information I want to put out on here. Um, Anything I talk about in terms of results and compensation, commission, income, I wanna make sure that you guys hear my heart when I say I don't say it to impress anyone, uh, but, but more to impress upon you uh, the importance of these things I talk about, which are hard work, integrity, uh, do it anyway, uh, hustle, grind, all that kind of stuff. Um, back to back to back to back to back to back meetings, Got done with meetings around, I think it was around five o'clock or so. Rushed back to the hotel here. Started final uh, final editing of the podcast with TJ. Uh, when I go into these meetings, TJ's in the car editing nonstop all day long. When we're driving from meeting to meeting, he's showing me like, hey, here's what, here, here's what we're working with on this part. Um, cool, looks awesome, great, great, great. Um, that's happening back and forth all day. When we get back to the hotel room, it's kind of like putting this jigsaw puzzle together and TJ did that and then we take that and we, we, we do one final review and he doesn't need me to do that he can he can do all this on his own and do an incredible job I just that's the part I enjoy I love the creative side of it I love that feeling when the right song hits at just the right time and it makes you feel the message inside like that's that's the part I enjoy but what I didn't realize in this process is how time-consuming that part would be um, so we got here probably back at five. We met back in my hotel room at 5.15 and we posted the video live at, what time was it? Uh, at nine. Well, no, it was after that because, yeah, it was like 9.30, so 9.30. So four and a half hours, four hours and 15 minutes of just straight editing. Um, from there, went to the gym. Got to the gym by 10 o'clock, gym closes at 11. Just got back, it's 11.40 right now, just got back from the gym. And um, about to do a last couple of emails, I'm not gonna try, I'm try not to do much. It's so funny, uh, so many things going on, but it's all good, like it's all incredible stuff. And I've got this just momentum building. Uh, I feel like the content is good, I feel like the content is, I feel like the message is getting out there, the message that I wanted to put out into the world, I feel like it's getting out there. Um, so that for me is incredibly exciting because it's not easy um, doing what I'm doing. And I can tell you this process, like documenting at this level on top of the career, on top of the other content that I'm creating, um, it's just a whole nother level. But man, I'm, uh, I'm so incredibly grateful for having this opportunity um, just to to speak and just to get my message out there and hopefully help one person today. Monetizing, no plan to. Um, I've made a commitment not to for five years and to be honest, I'm purposely not even thinking about that. And making that commitment to me was so important because it turned that thought process off. Like, I don't care anything about what this will turn into later monetarily. I don't care what this will mean later in dollars and cents, all I care about is what it means later in impact, what it means later in legacy, what it means later in the number of stories that I will be able to collect of people that I've been able to help and lives that I've been able to change. In the process, change my own. With that, guys, it's, um, it's 11.44 p.m. Um, I've got an eight o'clock um, phone call with an incredible guy that's gonna be on the podcast here coming up soon. First insurance meeting starts at nine. Back-to-back -back meetings throughout the afternoon, creating this content again to roll out next uh, for tomorrow. And then we'll be hitting the road back to South Carolina so I get back to my family. And uh, I'm setting a strong goal for myself to when I get home, 
to take this device and um, put it in like some type of lock box and not look at it for a few hours um, because you have to go all in in all areas and family first and uh, I, that's one focus that I have is not letting this interfere with that because that is way more important than you sorry that's it guys hope you have an awesome rest of your afternoon evening morning night whenever you're watching this and I can't tell you how much I appreciate it if you would share it that's the only ROI I need is if you would share this video because someone in your friends list that will see it scrolling through their news, news feed needs to see this needs to see episode two needs to see episode three um, and that would mean the world to me.